Hey, Coach, can you give us some insight on uh, what happened with Nurk? Was it an acute injury or a gradual thing? What's, what's going on with his knee? Uh, it wasn't a specific injury. Uh, you know, he played in the back-to-back. -back. It started to bother him on Sunday. Uh, he had a little inflammation, a little swelling. And so it wasn't a specific uh, thing that happened. Um, just it ended up having a little swelling. So you're hoping that'll be more of a short-term thing? I hope so. You know, we'll see how he responds. Uh, he's on, he's with us on the trip. Uh, he's getting treatment, obviously, resting it. We'll, so we'll just see how it goes. But uh, there's no timeline, but uh, as of now, it's not serious. Yeah. Next question is coming from Cam Buford with LA News Observer. Hey, good afternoon, Coach. Welcome to LA. Thank you. Uh, Coach, I'd like to ask you about uh, C.J. Ellaby. Um, his his time has been kind of erratic this season. What does he need to do to kind of get some uh, PT in your roster? Well, honestly, it's going to be tough for him to, to get playing time this year. Uh, I think this year is a second-round pick. It's important for him to work on his game, learn the league, uh, uh, develop professional habits, all the things that young players need to do. And I think it's a difficult year for him uh, with COVID. And uh, I feel bad for a lot of the rookies around the league because they're not getting uh, some of the experiences that they should get on and off the court. But uh, to your question, um, you know, he's, he's playing when, when he has an opportunity, but frankly, with uh, the roster that we have, his opportunities will be limited. Now, he has some veterans in front of him. How, are, how is he learning from the veterans that you see in practice? Well, again, that's one of the things with, uh, with the season. We don't have an opportunity to practice much. Uh, our, we're limited time on the road to do things. So it's been a challenging – I think it's been a challenging year for young players across the league to get that. But that being said, uh, spending time with the veterans, uh, watching video with the coaches uh, – we have a pretty good track record uh, with developing second round picks here in Portland. And, you know, we're, I think we're treating CJ the same way as we have the other second round picks that we've come, that have come through here. La Murray, the athletic. Hey, sir. Good to see you. Uh, over, the, over the years, I know you've de-emphasized the importance of uh, turnovers, uh, takeaways, especially, but uh, over the last couple weeks, especially with Norm Powell, it sounds seems like that's been a big part of the good part of the defense. The defense played really well. Uh, what's that shift been like for you uh, as far as coming into the season with Covington and then getting this midseason addition in Norm uh, to help your defense out? Well, Norm has certainly helped our defense, and Norm came in uh, the same time that Yusuf Nurkic came in. So I think adding those two guys has, has really helped us. Um, you know, getting steals is is good. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily an indicator of good defense, uh, or I should say it's not a good indicator of good defensive teams. It's nice to have them, but, um, you know, I'm of the opinion that, you know, you be solid and you anticipate and the steals will come. That being said, uh, when you can win the turnover differential, which we do most nights, mainly because we, we ourselves have low turnovers, uh, if you can, if you have a positive turnover differential, that uh, that's a good thing both ways. AJ McCord with Coin. Hey, Coach. So, what is the plan tonight without Nurk? If you can reveal it at this hour. Well, I thought I'd go on a limb and start Ennis, and then we'll go from there. And Derek is fully recovered. Derek is available. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And last questions coming from Soichi Hayashi with Yahoo Japan. Soichi, are you there? He's muted. Hi. Hi, coach. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Uh, uh, April side game, uh, so many young players played. So I, I am paying attention to a little. So how do you feel about his growing? Uh, which player was that? I'm sorry. Nasir Little, number nine. Uh, you know, he's he's really, he was on the uptick and then he had the injury with his hand, but I think he's come into his own this year. You know, he's had uh, struggles 
uh, in the last few months with various injuries, but he's really improved the shooting. I think he's gained confidence in going out on the court. Uh, he is available to play tonight. You know, he missed a couple games, but I think you've seen some growth from him. Uh, obviously, he has still more room to grow, but he's a, he's a talented young player. All right, we're going to wrap there. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.